Hello there, I'm Nathan Gascoigne and this is the 1989 Diamondback Ascent to Gravel Bike Conversion that you, the Spindart viewers, kindly voted through to the final five of the Spindart Trash and Bash competition. So let's quickly go through the new stuff on the bike. So first I put on this VG Sports cheap and cheerful gold blingy cassette. So yeah, it's performing actually better than the micro shift at this point in time. I think that's just pure luck. I've put on this Arundel saddle bag, which has got a little bit of tan there for good measure. Yeah, this thing just fits a 26 inch inner tube perfectly. I got these halo gold Allen key head skewers. So that feels really nice and sturdy. And I got these light pro gold uh, chambering bolts. Then the Chris King. So this went from being a old school BMX 32.5 outer cup diameter to a 30.2 standard one inch head tube diameter. And that was done on a lathe at Vernon Barker Cycles in Sheffield. So yeah, we've got the gold Chris King. It's working beautifully. I know it's gonna last longer and obviously it fits in really well with the color scheme. My wife and I worked tirelessly. My wife really did put in some, some hours to make this bag work, but we've got the custom mustard gold rando bag. I think you'll agree. It looks really, really, really professional. Almost looks like it's something you could buy. It's got my wife's made by Sakura tags on here. It's got all of these straps on the sides and the back that you tighten down to the rack and it's also got this clip that allows you to open and close it inside it's got a clip here but all of this material is waterproof fabric and in the end we went a bit overboard and we ended up doing like four layers of waterproof fabric in most of the sections that was too much and in the future we would definitely reduce the number of layers and my wife ended up breaking two needles on her sewing machine but <laughs> what it does mean is that i've ended up with a bag that's super, super waterproof. I can fit my laptop in. This is a laptop bag. This is from my commute yesterday to work. I have like a spare t-shirt, a towel for when I get there. I've also got like some tools. And yeah, it's basically big enough to fit everything in. It's ideal for what I was looking for. And my commute went really well yesterday. That was the first time I tried to commute using the rando bag and using the Diamondback Ascent. Let me know your thoughts on this and I have one question for you guys. I'm thinking that the front here looks quite plain so I'd like to put a big iron on sort of sew on patch on here. The only things I'm finding so far are like big biker style patches with skulls. That's not what I'm after. So if anybody could recommend something cool to put on the front here I'd like to carry on the black and white theme but other than that any design would definitely be considered. So I'd like to use my 15 minutes of spin that fame to jumpstart a super cool trash and bash style bike build project for a couple of other people. I found a 55 pound job lot of wheels and seven bike frames on eBay. So I'm hoping to give away a frame to one lucky person here in the UK, but don't worry, I've also got the rest of the world covered. We have a GT Aggressor with one side of the bottom bracket still stuck, but I'm working on that. This is a size 16. We have a Sintesi X Country Fuego, really light bike. It also has this super cool disc brake adapter, but you can also run V brakes. And this needs one of the bottle cage bosses replacing, but other than that, seems good. We have a specialized Rock Hopper 19 inch in blue. This is up for grabs, and this one is a 19 and a half inch. This is a Trek 8000 SLR super light race. And to begin with the chance of winning one of these frames, all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed first to the Spin That YouTube channel. Then go over to my YouTube channel, which is called Try Real Hard, spelled T-R-I, subscribe. And also go over to my Instagram, which is at Try Real Hard. Follow me on there and then leave me a direct message that says done and either world or UK. So let me know whether you're in the giveaway for a frame in the UK or the worldwide giveaway, which I'll get onto in a minute. If you're in the UK and you win, I'll post you one of these frames and yeah, you'll be able to kickstart your 
own crazy Trasher Bash style build. So you may remember this tan Synchros Tofino saddle and it matches all of the Schwalbe tan wall range perfectly. I have managed to find something that's quite hard to come by but this is a basically brand new Synchros Belcara saddle in the same tan and apart from a few marks on the rails this thing is basically new so this is on offer for all of the viewers in the rest of the world i'll put it in a box or a bag and post it anywhere in the world to someone who does the same thing then leaves me a direct message saying done and world so good luck and the lucky winner of this saddle all you'd have to do to create a similar look to my darren back ascent is find yourself some Tamwar Schwalbies and there you go, you've got your setup. So I hope that this giveaway will keep the spirit of Trash or Bash alive a little bit longer and give a couple more people the motivation to create a bike that's super special to them. So what changes can you expect to see going forward and what else am I going to do to the Diamondback Ascent? As promised, I will be trying out these road pedals with the Schwalbe City Jet tyres to see how it rides. I have ridden this now to work and it did take me about 50 minutes. So we will see whether this makes me any faster. Also, I have picked up the wood to try and make a rear mudguard. It's a piece of pine and I'm hoping to combine layers of this with some wood glue and then connect it to the back of the bike using a bracket something like this but something stronger than this so that will basically fit here and hold this wood which should come out in a curve here that's the theory anyway i've got a couple of different colors or shades of varnish so we'll try and varnish this pine to make it match the tan the giveaway will run from today until April the 1st, so April Fool's Day 2022, and at midday UK time, one person from the UK will be selected to win the frame of their choice, and one person from the rest of the world will win the saddle. So head over to Spindax YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and my Instagram, and send me that direct message to be in with a chance of winning one of these items. Also, please do send me your ideas for a big iron on so on patch for the front of the rando bag and do let me know what you think of the chris king and all of the other gold updates that have gone on thanks again for voting me into the final five of the competition i'll leave you with some beauty shots of the bike